I am Yasin Almaloğlu from Boğaz University Computer Engineering Department. My project is about detection of epileptic seizures on scalp EEG recordings, and it uses graph theoretic analysis. My advisor is Harik Binger. My senior project tries to model neuronal activity in the brain for epilepsy patients. Medical doctors can find by looking at the data recorded from epilepsy patients where the seizures start and stop. However, these findings are not always feasible because of the two reasons. The first one is that medical doctors, especially neurologists, are quite expensive people. And the second and the more important one is that these findings are quite subjective. Thus, we need an automated way to detect the seizure times. Let me explain my methodology. I have a data set consisting of in total 15 recordings, 5 recordings per, per each patient. Uh, I divide each data into frames. One of the main purposes of my project is to find optimal uh, frame size. And my, in the project, graphs represent neuronal activity in the brain. Uh, the nodes represent electrodes and the edges become relationship between electrodes. Uh, during the seizure times, the, these relationships between electrodes uh, we can see many of them, but in both pre ictal and post ictal times, the relationships are quite weak. And at, after calculating graphs per each frame, I uh, calculate 27 features per, per each graph. Then I represent graphs with features. After this step, I try to reduce the features because of the two reasons. First one is that uh, some redundant features may uh, increase the computational power needed. Thus, by el eliminating redundant features, we can, uh, we can save some computational power. And the second reason is that some redundant features may uh, decrease, they may have bad effects uh, on the results so they so some unnecessary features can uh, can affect and can damage the uh, clarity of the results for some patients after the feature reduction step i go to the clustering part in the clustering part i get uh, different clusters consisting of each frame. Uh, these frames are clustered uh, and I expect at the end of this step uh, to get uh, ictal frames in one cluster and pre and post-ictal times in other clusters. My results are the following. Best epoch length for each frame is 12 and a half seconds. This is the optimal time to create, to divide the signal into frames. And the best frequency band used, uh, used in these EEG data is the theta band. So uh, the other, among, the, among five traditional uh, frequency bands in EEG studies, theta band gives the uh, best result with the most consistently high F score values. So in the picture you can see an example output of a clustering. Uh, red points are seizure times and blue points are non-seizure times. I get some uh, I get seizure times uh, clustered almost clustered in the same one for this patient of this specific recording and we get uh, some similar uh, plots for other patients as well. So further improvements can be uh, can be enhancing 
features that are used to calculate graphs. And by this enhancement, we can get better results as well. Thanks for your listening. Goodbye.